words like that. Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. Long ago, in a Persian village, lived a man named Ali Baba. One day, Ali Baba went to the mountains to gather wood to sell at the market. By chance, he saw a group of thieves standing in front of a cave. Open sesame! The leader of the thieves shouted, and the cave door opened with a crash. You put that gold and treasure into the cave. The thieves put the treasure into the cave and galloped away. Before they left, the leader shouted, "Close sesame!" and the door rumbled shut. After the thieves left, Ali Baba shouted the same words in front of the cave. Open sesame. The cave door opened again with a crash. Ali Baba went inside. He found piles of sparkling treasure. Wow! Fantastic. Ali Baba filled his bag with gold and took it home. Ali Baba borrowed a scale from his brother Kasim. He wanted to weigh his gold. Kasim was curious. Why did Ali Baba want to borrow his scale? Ali Baba doesn't have much. What does he need my scale for? I spread honey on the bottom of it, so I'll soon find out. Ali Baba didn't know what Kasim was up to. So he weighed his gold on his brother's scale. He didn't notice when one gold coin stuck to the bottom. Kasim found the gold coin stuck to the bottom of his scale. He ran straight to Ali Baba. Thief! Where did you get so much gold? You needed my scale to weigh it all. Ali Baba told his brother about the cave and the magic words. The greedy Kasim took ten camels to the cave. Kasim entered the cave. He couldn't wait to get the treasure into his bags, but when he tried to leave, he found he had forgotten the magic words. What was that word? Open barley. No, that wasn't it. Open rice. Open pea. Kasim tried the names of all the grains, but still the door wouldn't budge. His mind had been fixed on the treasure. Now he was trapped in the cave. A short time later. The thieves returned to the cave. They saw Kasim standing there in confusion. They thought he was the thief from the other day. You're the one who took my gold. The leader was so angry about his missing gold that he killed Kasim on the spot. The next day, Ali Baba returned to the cave looking for Kasim. He found that his brother was dead, and he sadly took the body home. Soon the thieves returned to the cave. They were angrier than ever to find Kasim's body gone. I think whoever took the body also took my treasure. Go find him. That night, one of the thieves heard a rumor that Ali Baba had suddenly become very rich. He put a mark on Ali Baba's door. Ali Baba's servant Marzana was watching. Oh no! The thieves are going to hurt my master. The clever Marzana put the same mark on all the doors in the village.
The next night, the thieves planned to make Alibaba pay. They were shocked to find a mark on every door in the village. Which house is it? Uh, uh, that's... I... I marked only one house. The thieves couldn't find Alibaba's house. They had no choice but to return home. The next day, the thieves asked around the village. Finally, they found where Alibaba lived. The leader disguised himself as an olive oil merchant and went to visit. I travel around the country selling olive oil. It's getting very late. Would you be kind enough to let me rest here for the night? Come in. Be welcome. You can tie your donkeys in the stable. There were two oil pots on the back of each donkey. But inside the pots were the thieves, not a drop of oil. Marzana needed some oil to cook dinner, so she went to the stable. She was surprised to hear faint voices coming from the pots. Master, should we make our move now? Marzana was confused at first, but then she said in a gruff voice, No! Wait a little longer! Marzana quickly thought of a plan. She poured some boiling water into all the pots. The thieves couldn't escape and they all died. In the meantime, Ali Baba was treating the leader to a delicious dinner. Marzana was trying to think of a way to get rid of him. Finally, she dressed in beautiful clothes and entered the room with a sword in each hand. I will dance the sword dance for our guest. Oh yes, a wonderful idea. Marzana danced with the swords, moving closer and closer to the leader. Suddenly, she stabbed him in the chest. Ali Baba was saved, thanks to Marzana's wisdom. The thieves were all gone, and peace returned to the village. Ali Baba married Marzana, who had saved him. They lived happily ever after. Why open sesame? There are lots of other grains.